We are the, the Jacobson, Jacobson Project. Alright, here's the garden project. We picked up some mulch from a local um, greenhouse and Kim got some other plants. I'm not sure what she got exactly. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take off this tarp, uh, move the rocks to the side and then we're going to actually put this, this uh, compost, this uh, manure on top of each row and uh, then Kim's going to start planting. I'm going to help with the mulch, getting that on the path, and then we're actually going to put some posts on and put some deer fence up around the edges. Putting down the mulch, um, we'll make sure we, and then we'll just kind of, I'm just going to double check and make sure that I think what my planting plan is okay. Um, and this is my first big garden, so trying it out this year. I'm trying, I've, I've always had little gardens, so it'll be learning experience. I'll get a screenshot or I'll take a picture of Kim's. She's got things marked out on, and mapped out on a sheet of paper, so we'll be able to come back later and, and put the stakes in where they should be. And I still have some seedlings at home that, that I need to bring up that we'll put in. That's my first, that's my first, this is my first ever growing something from seed. Again. Thumbs up so far. father-in-law's 40 you saw us get the water and so then we haul over with the four-wheeler and now I got a water <laughs>
watering half of the bed. Why is that? I don't have stuff. There's nothing planted on this back side. And I have a bunch of stuff actually at our house that will end up incorporating that. So that's why. Almost out of gas. So the cool part about this property, uh, another cool part, is that this is agricultural land. So right now the farmer that, that uh, rents this land, um, he's actually got some equipment way over there, but he is planting soybeans this year and he rotates soybeans and corn. So this year will be soybeans, it'll be great for the hunting season too coming up. Anyway, the, uh, the other cool part is they have, these are all field stone have been picked out of, this, out of the fields over the years. We have about, I don't know, there's probably about eight of these piles around this field and my dad's 40. Um, and it's just, it's basically unlimited stone. So if you want to do a retaining wall or we're doing little a little rock wall around the garden, so I'm going to pick these and haul them back and we're going to add to the stones we've already put in place. Next step is to put the rocks all around the edge. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep the fence, the bottom of the fence is going to get basically smashed down so no critters can get underneath it. And we picked this seven foot deer fence. So the deer, yeah, they could probably jump over it if they really wanted to, but Hopefully it's enough of a deterrent and there's other things to eat around here so they won't uh, go after our stuff. How's your back? So we're probably going to go around with a couple more rows, but this is really just holding down those, the bottom of that fence at this point. Phase one. Phase one. What did we get accomplished? Um, we finished the phase one of planting, so everything that we wanted to plant right now is all planted. And then we got all the rocks put around the outside to keep the craters out. We don't have a door right now, so this fancy door has these little fancy, I don't know what they're called. Why, we just have it wired they're shut. Just wired shut. So we're so. going we're gonna to make a door, a gate. Happy. My back hurts. See you next time on The Jacobson Project. So there's black bear. There's actually a sow and I think she has three or four cubs, and she lives right over there. So, whenever I hear some rustling, I uh, I just poke, I just pop my head up to check. <laughs>